While in many developed countries, modern machines, even automatic robots, have been widely applied in aluminum foundries, somewhere in Africa still retains the traditional features in this profession. At many foundries in Africa, blacksmiths are still hard at work daily preparing the stages of the casting process by hand, from forming a mold, melting aluminum, pouring molten aluminum into the mold to create products made of aluminum. In this video we will visit an aluminum foundry in Bobo Dialasso, Burkina Faso, West Africa. Here we will see the whole process of how the aluminum casting craftsman produces aluminum pots manually. The craftsman uses a casting method known as green sand. The molds are used once, so each time a new product is produced, the worker has to make a new model. Here, aluminum smelters mainly produce kitchen utensils, namely pots and pans of different sizes. These products are used by all families in Burkina Faso and widely in West Africa. At the aluminum foundries here, people mainly use recycled aluminum to produce new products. This recycled aluminum is collected from all broken aluminum products or parts from people in the area. Scrap aluminum is put into a furnace at high temperature until it is melted. The dirt will be removed to ensure that the aluminum solution is as pure as possible. After the aluminum is melted and the residue is removed, the blacksmiths will use a ladle and pour it into the mold. Here is how Precision Foundry manufactures the world-famous Engine Quest cast iron cylinder heads. Engine Quest is a company dedicated to providing you with unique engine parts, that are out of production or hard to find. With many years of experience in the casting of cylinder heads products, Engine Quest has an efficient casting process to be able to produce high-quality products, for a wide range of needs at a very reasonable cost. Cast in Precision Foundry with premium materials and machine to exact tolerances, the Engine Quest cast iron cylinder heads accept production, or aftermarket valvetrain components, intake manifolds and exhaust manifolds slash headers.
Next, we will visit an aluminum foundry with more modern technologies. Here we will see the details of the casting process of an aluminum ring with a mass of 80 kilograms. The furnace used at this foundry is an electric furnace. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please leave a comment to let us know what you think after watching the video, we can continue to discuss the issues you're interested in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos.